Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This vlog is going to be a rather short one. Uh, trying to start something new, which I've talked about, I want to do more daily or semi-daily vlogs. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to make the content out a little bit quicker so the editing and the recording doesn't take as much time. Plus, I always want to give you a real picture, so I kind of hate when I have to re-record a segment because I stumble over my words or there's a little bit too much dead space. So um, it's going to be kind of a change maybe in the vlog style. I'm going to practice doing a little more one take and uh, hopefully... Uh, you guys will bear with me as we get better at doing this. Um, for those of you who are new, haven't watched any videos before, if it seems a bit odd, um, that I've got water heaters in the back here. I'm in my disaster of a garage that I do a lot of my reselling from. Um, I live here in Vegas. I play poker. I do reselling part-time, but part-time for me could be five hours or 50 hours. It just depends on what I feel like doing uh, that week. And right now, I've been on more of a reselling kick and enjoying it, so a lot more time has gone into reselling than just about anything else. So uh, I'm going to talk about an issue that happened this past week for me with eBay and my sales and then show you a few of the items that sold. It's going to be kind of down and dirty because I got stuff ready to ship out already and I have an important commitment I already made today. So I uh, just want to knock something out fast. Sorry for the lack of polished editing, uh, but sometimes you do what you got to do and that's what we're going to do. Let's get into it. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, December 9th. I hope you're having a great holiday season, a great December, a great quarter four, just a great morning, a great day whenever you're watching this. Um, going to make a quick video that I wasn't planning on making, and I know I'm putting out only like one video a week right now, but um, I'm still working on... I'm joining the holidays, first of all. That was important to me this year. But, you know, I still got tons of stuff to list here and back here and over here, and, and not all that's to be listed. Some of that is actually already for listings and... And some of that's personal items, but I have a lot of stuff to get through, especially with all the Black Friday sourcing I did uh, through thrift stores with their sales. I just felt compelled to make a message this morning because I guess at the drive some point I've been making for the better part of the year is that my Black Friday weekend was great. Monday and Tuesday were fine. Everything was going good. And then suddenly I had a two-day period where um, I sold one item a day. It was like my store was non-existent. The items that sold were basically one on clearance for a loss and the other was a couple of bucks so they basically wash each other out that was right after things were just like for me gangbusters um had like 40 sales over black friday weekend um and the profits were good on that so that that period comes along where suddenly i have no sales and yeah i'm sitting there thinking hmm wonder if something's wrong um is my store visible all that stuff you normally i guess think when that happens, I see tons of messages on the Facebook forums like that, which usually leads to, hey, my sales are dead. Are anybody else's dead? That post does nothing. All you want is someone to commiserate. They're having a bad time too, or else you're going to hear people saying you're doing something wrong because their sales are perfectly fine. So I'm not here to say you're doing something wrong or that, you know, or that, oh yeah, gosh, everything stinks. Here's the thing. Let me tell you exactly how I fixed the problem of not having sales basically for a couple of days. I did nothing. Because I can look at those two days and say, I'm only selling one item each day for like $18. This is horrible. But I can look back, and if you go back for a whole year, I can look back at the previous 365 days and see that things were okay. I am not going to change my business model or completely panic over a two-day period when compared to the other 365 days or 363 days. Look back at a year. The point, which I don't want to get lost, is yes, I still have only had 11 days this entire year where I haven't sold at least one item. And yes, that two-day period kind of made me think that number was going to go up, which would have been fine. I know long-term my business is doing just fine. But I didn't panic. I didn't call eBay. I didn't post about it. I didn't suddenly change my pricing. I didn't start a new sale or promoted listings. I kept everything the way it was. And sure enough, yesterday, back to normal, had nine sales yesterday. But the other point I want to tack on to this is those nine sales came to about $100 gross, which to me isn't really good. That means I'm barely selling each item for $10. So the profits are very small. This morning, I woke up to three sales for about a combined total of $240 on about $20 invested in the items. So the three sales this morning far surpassed the nine items that sold yesterday and really, that day where I sold one item each day for two days in a row, it was an anomaly in the whole system. It wasn't anything that had to change. Things just corrected themselves normally. And I'm saying this because I have a track record 
of sales that I could look back on. If you're new, it can be confusing. It could indicate something going wrong. But if you are an established seller with at least six months of history and knowing how your sales are and this happens, don't go nuts on it because you might change your pricing, change things, and make the situation worse. This is my personal opinion. Um, was it tough for me to sit there and wonder if this wasn't going to continue? Absolutely. I'm a human being. When it got to about maybe four or five days, then I would have really considered looking at things. But I also know I've sold through a lot of items. People have spent a lot of money already this beginning of December. Maybe the sales are tapering off because my item selection is kind of thinning out. And their wallet is thinning out of money. So it's not always eBay or anything else. It could just be the way the season is going, the way the day is going. It happens. Even in poker, when you get dealt a hand that's supposed to win 80% of the time, so that means you're going to win four times every one time you lose, sometime you're going to lose that five times in a row. You just It's how things come and go. And I just encourage you not to panic and to be realistic and look at your situation relative to everything that's gone before. Just like I said, if you've been selling for over a year and you decide to start using free shipping and you give it a week and you see the sales go up or you see them stay the same or you see them get worse, you can't contribute that to the free shipping change. That's one week out of 52 other weeks. you got to give things time and look at things relative to the context they're in. Hope that makes sense. Let me show you a couple of things we're shipping out this morning. Hope it gets you guys started. Uh, I'll be talking more about the different kinds of content I plan to put out. But I have to get through all this so I can get to it. So forgive me for the slow uh, trickle of content. It will be picking up steam in 2020. I promise you that. So while I slept last night, picked up a sale on a video game, which I think is actually right over here. Uh, just an older Nintendo Wii sealed copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'll put up on the screen uh, the buy and sold price for this item. And uh, this actually sat for a little while. Um, nice to get rid of it and uh, make a few bucks back and profit on that as well. And then the big thing that sold is, and forgive me, I've actually been moving stuff around in here finally. And I'm not 100% sure if these are the ones I'm looking for. If you, uh, I mentioned this a little bit ago too, if you watch my videos, these uh, ZXP Series True Colors card printer ribbons I bought from Goodwill maybe about about three, three months ago or so, within the last three months, I made a video about it called Did I Just Make $1,900 in 10 Minutes? And uh, I actually bought a lot of these cartridges for $6.99. And I've been selling them each for around $110 to $120. I had picked up 14 of these and six of another one from a Goodwill. It's actually kind of interesting. It kind of demonstrates how I randomly find stuff um, just by looking for items that are sealed everywhere in the store and don't just isolate myself to one section. So in the interest of time, I am just going to go ahead and show you these on screenshots um, off the computer. Uh, basically, in no particular order, these were five of the nine items I thought would be interesting to show and explain why I chose to get them or why they're fast sellers for me. So um, this is something you'll be seeing coming up. I have my first unboxing video very shortly, which is the November 2019 uh, Amazon Marvel Collector's Core. So if you're a nerd and you like uh, Marvel things like Funko Pop, shirts, posters, uh, pop culture stuff, uh, I got my new box I'll be talking about that and opening it up, and I have no idea what's inside. Just as an experiment, we'll see what happens. But one of the things I subscribe to is also this uh, Pro Wrestling Crate box that gives you two t-shirts, an autograph, and a bunch of little tchotchke items too. I basically buy it for the shirts and the autograph. And if it's a shirt I don't like or the other items I don't need, I tend to try and sell them, make them back a few bucks. This shirt came from my most recent box. Um, so basically, it's hard to break it down. I pay about $36 total for the box, and there's usually about seven items in there. So it breaks down to roughly $5 an item if you want to assign a value. So uh, $5 in on this shirt, sold within a week for $13.95, and that money just goes right back to paying for my next box. So my shirts and my autographs and collectibles kind of pay for themselves. This is a case of, I look for unique things, especially unique things that are factory sealed. And this was kind of cool. It's like little puzzle blocks, little squares you put together that can make one of six different uh, famous pieces of art. 
and uh, only had a dollar invested in this, and it sold on sale for twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. Sold, uh, shipped for just under a pound. So um, made about a good ten bucks on this guy. These Franklin spelling aces and dictionaries and thesauruses, I've been coming across a lot, and they're usually selling within a couple of days for me. Uh, obviously, it's a very low-priced item, only $14. Uh, but again, another item I think I had $1.50 into. I think this actually just came from the Black Friday shopping sales, uh, one of the items that actually got listed. So uh, if you see these, do take a look. Uh, mainly for me, the folding ones uh, with the cover, not the bigger, not desktop size, but the non-portable sizes don't do as well. But if you can pick these up for a buck and it's going to sell in a week for $14, um, why not do that? That's... Again, this I'm showing you how I operate. That's my current state of mind when it comes to resale. Uh, this ornament definitely came from the Black Friday sale this past weekend. Um, I was getting these for about a dollar or two each, and they had a number of Harley David motorcycles. I was going to lot them up and then just decided to sell them separately. And uh, this one sold within three days for $13.95. And uh, those ship out pretty light. They're under eight ounces. So... Um, I've kind of made a decision now, thinking forward now already for Q4 of 2020. Uh, wow, 2020. Um, I'm picking up Hallmark ornaments for a buck or two every time I see them. And I'm not going to stress over it because I know more are going to be worth money than not. And worst case, all the bad ones that I pick up, uh, I can lock together and at least get my money back. Um, I just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks. I figure as long as I'm buying stuff, uh, it gives me lots of items to constantly flip. And likewise... This Inesco Christmas Rudolph Island of Misfit Toys uh, figurine paid a dollar fifty for this during the Black Friday Goodwill sales, um, and they only wanted three dollars normally, which I definitely would have bought. Uh, sold within just a few days uh, for twenty four dollars. Uh, shipping on this was very light. Actually, the figure was very light. Shipped uh, first class mail. Um, I did double box it. Obviously, holiday stuff. Rudolph. I think it's a no brainer to look for. But this just goes to show you, I listed this maybe a few days ago. People are still buying Christmas decorations um, with just a couple of weeks to go before the holidays. So never give up on holiday items that you're trying to sell. All right, that's basically going to wrap it up for this morning. Just wanted to put a little something out there for you guys to watch and enjoy. Um, like I said, going to try and make the content a little more um, daily, which means it's going to have to be a little more off the cuff and just one take. And that's going to take me a little bit to get used to to make sure the content is still quality. Um, I don't want to deteriorate my videos. I like to make sure that I do make something funny in them, do a little bit of graphical work, just make it stand out a bit, make it a little more entertaining to watch at times, mix some humor in there with the seriousness of selling, and obviously get some more Vegas and some poker knowledge in there as far as uh, how to think like a gambler in terms of using it to the benefit of your resale business. So um, I'm actually going to have some fun today, which might sound crazy, but I got a good buddy. Maybe I'll get him on video for the next one. Um, owns an air conditioning company out here, and he needed an extra pair of hands. And I said, you know what? There's something I've never done before. Salt air conditioning. I'm going to spend my day doing that, just get out of the house and uh, enjoy myself. As crazy as that sounds, I figure why not have as many experiences as life uh, in life as possible. So guys, I'm going to go be up on a roof installing air conditioning ducts. But until I talk to you next time, stay tuned, stay positive, keep hustling. Have a great day.